Welcome to the channel everyone, my name is Sim and today we're going to be taking a look at the Hackberry Pi Zero. This is a really cool project from the user Saitao Tech, I don't know how to say it correctly uh, or if I'm saying it, if I'm bashing it, I, I apologize. Um, this is a really small cyber deck that uh, uses a Raspberry Pi 2W. Uh, the reason why I wanted to check this out is because I'm really into using a U console. This is my go-to for everyday stuff. Like, you know, I have iPads and stuff, but this is what I primarily use every day. But I wanted something smaller, something I could fit in my pocket when I didn't want to carry that around. And I saw this project and I thought it might be cool to uh, check out on the channel. Um, there are a couple versions. There's a Raspberry Pi 5 and a 4 version. Those have been sold out. I haven't been able to grab one of those, but if I do, I will mess with it on this channel. So today we're going to unbox it, see what it comes with, and take a look at the device itself. Now we have some Allen keys. I'm pretty sure that's to take it apart. That goes right there. This is the device itself. Itself and uh, by the way, I did order this from Elecro. This is not sponsored. I bought this with my own money, so all the opinions in this video will be of my own. Um, wow! So the back is 3D printed. You can see two batteries. Uh, I think one is backup and one is the main. I'm not too sure. Um, there's the Raspberry Pi 2W. The front seems to be metal, which is nice. I assume that would be 3D printed too. If you look on the GitHub or Elecro's website, the images are kind of blurry. It kind of looks like the whole thing is 3D printed. Um, get some plastic off of this. Oh. this off. Okay. So I'll, I'll, like out the box, it feels really nice. I will say that it feels very nice. The quality is very nice. The screen is odd. I'm very excited to check the screen out. We have a BlackBerry 9900 keyboard. The, it was between the 9900 Q10 and Q20. You can uh, check on their on Elecro's website if you want to get a specific keyboard. This is what was in stock when I purchased, and I you know I didn't know what the difference was, but that's just me. It does come with a SD card with the device. If I can get it out of here, I can't get it out. All right. All right, so it's a 32 SanDisk Ultra, pretty, pretty nice. I'm guessing they preload the Linux distribution on there for you. Uh, let's go around the device. So on the bottom, you have a Type-C connector for charging. You have a battery indicator here and for LEDs. I think this is a power switch. I'm not too sure. I know there's a weird thing you have to do with the keyboard to get that to work, but we'll get to that in a bit. You have two full-size USB A's on the side. This looks like, I can't even tell. I think this is a shortcut for the DSi connector that's right there. And then another connector, which I am unfamiliar with. On the top, we have the HDMI that goes out to a monitor. I don't know what this button does, but there is a button on the top for something. Oh, wait, that might be brightness. That might actually be brightness. Uh, we have another switch, which again, I've never used this device. I don't know what this is for. And you have another type A USB port and your SD card slot that's right there. On the back, let's see if we can open this without destroying it. It's an Nokia battery. All right, let's go take out the other one. We have another Nokia battery. All right. It looks like they work together. Maybe by oh, right there, right? No, oh, right there. All right, it looks like they work together. I'm not sure if you can swap them out. I did see somewhere that you can swap them out if your battery's low. Okay. Oh, I can't get this off. Okay. And this kit does include the Raspberry Pi, so you don't have to worry about that. I think this entire kit was about a hundred and. 40 something dollars uh, after shipping. I'm not, if I'm, I'll put it on the screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about, but it was roughly 140 something bucks. It looks like the connection to the Hackberry is via the, the pins here, so the GPIO. 
And there are other pins for USB that are somewhere around here, I believe, underneath the board. And that's pretty cool. I'll, I will te tear this down so everyone can see what's going on. But for now, let's see if we can boot it up. So I'm gonna put these back. And let's see if we can get this started. All right, so I'm guessing this is the power button on the side. Can you guys realize? No. What about the one over here? I see a battery indicator on the bottom. Oh, I see a battery. Oh, I see something booting. We have a light on the top and the screen seems to be on, I think. Kind of, maybe. I don't know. It looks like they include a BlackBerry sticker. I don't know if you guys can see that. If you want to put that on the back, that's pretty dope. We have a mouse. Uh, can I move that? No. Uh, let's see. Do I have to? Oh, that turns it off. Crap. We'll be right back. Okay, so it turns out the bottom is the power, and correct me if I'm wrong, you could yell at me in the comments. The bottom one is the power, and the side is the keyboard to turn this on. And yeah, that actually feels better than I'd imagine. Is it touchscreen? No, it is not touchscreen. I was hoping it was touchscreen. That would have made things a lot easier with what I plan to do with this in the future. I want to run like a mobile version of a, you know, of a desktop, like Fosh Mobile. I think it's Fosh Mobile. I'm not sure, but I've seen people online that install like a whole different desktop interface and it looks really easy to use with touch. I was hoping to do that, but honestly, this mouse feels more accurate than the trackball on the U console. That's actually very interesting. Remember to come in. Yes, let's just launch it. Um, we are going to be limited with what we can do on a Raspberry Pi Zero, but there are other options that I am going to be looking into for a future video, like an Orange Pi 2W or a Ratsa Zero. So when I get those, I will test them out. There's going to, obviously, there's got to be like some software stuff you need to do to get that running, but let's see how typing feels with this blackberry keyboard also i'm not going to connect this to my wi-fi because i didn't set this image up if i set up and if i when i set up an image i will connect to wi-fi and we'll do all that fun stuff let's just see if i can type this how fast is it that felt decent um how do you use punctuation with a blackberry keyboard is it no um is it symbol? Do I have to hold symbol? Yes, you have to hold symbol. Huh. Wish there was one on this side. Cause that'll throw me off to have to go like that every time. But I gotta say the mouse, I didn't expect it to be that good. This feels pretty natural. And the keyboard, I think I'll get used to it. I, I used to be a, a BlackBerry kid when I was in high school. So I think after a while, like the, the U console keyboard, I'm super used to already. So I think this isn't super far off in, in terms of size. I think I can uh, get used to that. This is really nice. It's just regular Raspbian. We're already familiar with that. Uh, I just wanted to test the keyboard. Let's see if I could type something. Let's see. Is there anything installed that I can run a terminal? How do you right click with this? Do you just hold? Oh yeah, that's cool. That's pretty dope. Video fetch, let's see if video fetch is installed. It is not. That's pretty nice. I will go ahead and get my own image running on this install or connect to Wi-Fi and then 
we'll mess around a bit further from there. So let's, let's go do that now. All right, guys, we're gonna tear this thing apart and take a look at the build quality and the board that's in there. Let's do the peel. Ooh, I can't take this one off because it's under this bezel, kind of. Yeah, it's just ripping. So I'm kind of weary of doing that one. Maybe I'll take it apart and then pull the screen protector off. All right, let's get into it. So this is all you get when you buy Hackberry Pi Zero. We have the front, which is indeed metal. I can properly feel that now. This feels like aluminum. Like this is really good quality. And we have our keyboard, which is from a BlackBerry 9900, I believe. Really nice. Nothing special. I'll put that back down. The back is 3D printed, but honestly, it's a really high quality 3D print. I have no complaints about it. I would like to see this door be fully printed in metal and then maybe use this as a heatsink. I think that would really help with the performance of the Zero. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Um, and then this is the main board that they give you, you have your USBs right there. You have the pins that connect underneath the Pi Zero. So I see status. So that, that might be like data transmit. That's why it was blinking a lot when we were using it. So it's probably, probably what that does. Ground, battery, so that's power. Another status, something there, LED. Then we have our data points. This is all for USB, I believe. and. Stuff like that, that makes sense. Just if we look at the Pi Zero and what goes, yeah, that's all these pins right here. So that's all data and stuff. And we have the battery traces here. It looks like they both work at the same time. We have that button there. This was just to turn off the screen. I noticed when I was using it, um, it just turns off the screen. So if you don't want to turn off your device, but you want to put it in your pocket or something, you just turn that off. I'm guessing that's why the switch is here too. So if you put it in your pocket, you can just turn the keyboard off. So you're not pressing stuff when it's in your pocket. Um, and we have the charge circuit here. Wait, is that? Very good. You do have some pads here. So it looks like you might be able to add your own batteries if you want to get bigger batteries or anything like that. And then on the front, we have our screen. It seems like these are glued together, so you can't really take the screen off. You might be able to pry it off. I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna break it, but if I needed to replace the screen, that might be a problem. It seems that there is a 3D printed part in between the screen and the board for spacing. The same with the keyboard. There's a white 3D printed piece here that seems to be adhered to the PCB. And we have a bunch of components here on the sides. I'm guessing that's just to run the keyboard or other things. And we have our SD there. I'm pretty sure these pins are used for the SD. That's what that's for. SD card, because USB is over here. So this is USB. This is power for USB and how the, I think the Pi gets power. And these are all for the SD card. And then obviously the keyboard and everything else, the screen just runs through these GPIO pins here. That's pretty cool. And you have a, looks like a Raspberry Pi component there. Probably for some of the logic on this. I, I, this is all over my head, but I just like to see how it's built. So that's pretty nice. You get a whole lot in this package if you wanna mess around and tinker. 
I think I'm ready to see what I can fit in here in terms of Orange Pi. And compared to the U console, the U console is going to blow this out of the water. That's not what this is about. This is just a what can I use that has Linux that I can throw in my pocket if I wanted to. You know, something that's easy to use but can do similar things to the U console. They're not the same. And if honestly I wanted this to be a more fair comparison, I would just get the Raspberry Pi 5 version of this, which is originally what I wanted, but they're hard to find again. And I, I, I plan on getting it, but for now, I think this is really cool. This is really fun if you wanted to load in. If you, if you just want to use this as a terminal, I think that's the best scenario. Or if you want to run scripts, like not necessarily running full Kali, but like if you want to download like Angry Oxide in a terminal and use it that way or war driving, stuff like that. This is kind of perfect for those scenarios. Now let's put this thing back together and see if it still works. All right, let's actually take off the screen protector this time. Nice. nice. Okay, so it looks like the Hackberry survived our little adventure, taking it apart, and we'll boot it back into Linux. I just noticed that this thing doesn't have sound, which isn't a big deal for what most people are going to use it for. And also, you can use Bluetooth headphones, but that is something to take note of. Like, you can't just watch videos on this. Not that it could play videos. I think the Raspberry Pi Zero is very weak in that sense. You can't really watch YouTube videos, but... Just something to look out for if you're thinking about getting a device like this over a U console that has, you know, a CM4, CM5 in it. It can play YouTube videos. It has speakers. You can listen and do all that stuff. But I think I'm going to like this little device. Um, it goes together well. There are some minor adjustments I might make in the future. Uh, and honestly, it just feels well made. It feels really thought out. Every part that went into this build feels like it was chosen specifically to fit like a case like this. And I think in the future, we'll, we'll see a lot of this on the channel. Um, if you guys stood this long, thank you. I appreciate you guys. Uh, we made it to a thousand subscribers. Thank you to everyone who has stayed and watched my videos and here's to the future and hopefully getting a thousand more. Um, yeah, like and subscribe if you hate me. Say it in the comments. Thanks, guys. Yeah.